and realize it's always complicated. It's always difficult. But that a smart country consistently prefers to apply smart power and to avoid military engagement if it possibly can. And when it has to engage militarily, it wants the largest possible component of economic, intellectual, military, and communications help, I mean, economic, diplomatic, and, and uh, communications help to surround its military activities. And I was asked to come in, I think it was in January of 05, and the Joint Chiefs had sent a team over to spend several weeks reviewing Iraq. And they, Rumsfeld asked me to take the briefing before they briefed him. And we walked through this overview briefing. And they, the, the summary was, the really two great problems are electricity and jobs. And here's security. And I listened to them, I took notes. And I said, okay, so what are your recommendations? They said, well, all of our recommendations are on security. Because that's what we did. And I said, wait, let's back up to the very beginning. Okay. Your analysis is that the country is not going to get stable until it has electricity and jobs. They go, like that. You got it, Zed. And you're not going to make any recommendations on electricity and jobs because it's not your lane. So how are you going to win the war? They said, well, I don't know why I don't win the war, but this is a week. <laughs> so that's part of why you had in the military is saying, I've got to have a partner who has the resources and the culture <coughs> to actually fill up these boxes of need. Or I'm, going to get, I'm either going to lose or I'm going to get drawn into filling them out of my own resources. And I'm not prepared for it. It's not what I do well. And it's not what I think I should be assigned to.